Hey everyone, we all know a lot of plants bloom in the spring. They also grow new leaves. That's the same for succulents, so I want to show you some of the succulents in my garden and in my neighborhood that bloomed this spring. Okay, guess what the succulent bloom is? It grows on a long stem and it has small coral colored flowers. The answer to that is Kalanchoe lavender scallops. They're very pink and I planted them in cans and they seem to be doing pretty well. These are clusters of red flowers belonging to another type of Kalanchoe. These are the small yellow flowers of Sedum Ruby Tinctum Jelly Bean. This Euphorbia milii is still blooming despite that it doesn't look good itself. This is the very interesting bloom of a Haworthia. These yellow star-shaped flowers are the flowers of the Graptocetum Francesco Baldi. They're very diminutive, but I recommend keeping them on for the bees. These are the pink blooms of some sort of Echeveria agavoides. This is the small bloom of the Senecio Raulianus. It's fragrant and smells like cinnamon. These are one of my favorite blooms I've ever saw in an Echeveria. I love the red and orange, and it looks great without them too. Guess what this big cluster of white star-shaped flowers belong to? It is the Sedum clavatum. These are very easy to grow. These are blooms of one of my favorite succulents. That is Pachyphyla moon silver. Who also likes these flowers as much as I do are the hummingbirds. They pollinate these and get the sweet nectar out of the flower. These are the blooms of common Echeverias. They are bell shaped and have nice colors. For instance, Echeveria elegans. This is another one of my favorite Echeverias. I love how the orange contrasts with the bluish green. This is another Echeveria. It's called Pearl von Nunberg and it looks like it's blooming from out the center. I don't think an Echeveria is monocarpic. You'll never guess where I found this cactus. I rescued it from a trash pile. A fun fact is that the sharpest cactuses have the most beautiful flowers. The Aeonium blooms are spectacular. However, 
They elongate from one rosette and are monocarpic. Even the darkest of Aeonium still have bright yellow flowers. What I've noticed about these flowers is that they have a lot of nectar droplets. I like to leave those for the bees. This is my favorite blooming succulent in my garden. First of all, I love Pachyphyllums. The pot is perfect and the bloom is amazing. Here is another blooming Aeonium. The way these form is a single rosette elongates from the stem and forms a flower on the tip. The flowers die after, but you'll still have a lot more cuttings. Here's a crossolo that's blooming. Honestly, I don't think these look really cool. These are dried up flower stalks of the Crassula Capitella Campfire and the Crassula Rogersi. You can propagate this by seeds if you want to. This is a huge bush of Crassula Jade plants. There's still a succulent and the flowers have dried off. You can spend hours removing all of them. These crazy bright pink flowers belong to the ice plant ground cover. This is a succulent and it doesn't need much water. Also, it is great to use in water-wise gardens that you want a little pop of color. No joke, it's this bright in real life too. Ice plants are a very low maintenance plant, yet they make an excellent ground cover for water-wise gardens. These are the yet-to-be purple flowers of the Cinemisio. You might have heard of this common variety. This plant, yet not a succulent, is very special. I love it when it's in full bloom. This is the Bulgarian plant symbolizing for health. It grows very fast as well. Many plants, such as this red Japanese maple tree, are also bringing out a new flush of leaves. In spring, it is the best time to propagate your succulents because the weather is favorable for them. <laughs> 